Hey, what is up guys, Rusty here. And uh, in this video today, I just wanted to show you how to get Intel Quick Sync enabled on your computer. There are not a lot of tutorials out there. Um, the setup is kind of tricky to get down, um, but I think once you watch this video, you'll you'll know how to set it up and you'll know a little bit more about Intel Quick Sync since there's not a lot of documentation out there. Okay, so to start off, I wanna show you that I am um, running NVIDIA graphics cards. I'm running two in SLI running two 570s, and I have my Intel HD Graphics 4000. So that is the integrated graphics on my processor, and these are my discrete, dedicated GPUs. So to get Quick Sync to work, the first thing you're going to want to do is install the graphics uh, card driver for the Intel uh, 4000. Okay, so you're going to want to download the latest graphics, you know, install your motherboard chipset, get all your drivers up to date. That's step number one, very important step. Um, this will not work unless you have the drivers installed. So once you have the drivers installed, the first thing you're going to want to do is boot from the graphics card, I'm sorry, the uh, integrated graphics only. So plug in a DVI out of the back of your motherboard, plug it into your monitor, and boot up with the Intel graphics. Um, after that, when you have everything configured, um, shut your system down, install one of the graphics cards, boot from that, um, install the uh, NVIDIA drivers, and then in, um, shut your computer down, install the second one, put in your SLI bridge. Um, so that, that'll be step two. Okay, so step three is going to be configuring um, um, QuickSync so that it will work. And there's a little bit of a quirky setup that you have to do. I'm just going to kind of show it to you a little quick and dirty diagram right here. But basically, you've got... Okay, so pardon my drawing skills. So this is your PC. Okay, and this is your, uh, this is going to be, oh, Jesus. Okay, so you've got your two NVIDIA cards right here running in SLI. Okay, that's two. Um, and then you've got your, uh, your motherboard up here that's got your uh, Intel processor. And uh, make sure that it, you know, your processor is capable of quick sync video. I think it's Sandy IV and whatever the new one is. I'm not really sure. Um and so the way that you're going to want to set this up is you have your monitor. It's a wide screen monitor. <laughs> and uh, you're going to take DVI out and go to DVI in. And you're going to take either DVI or HDMI in my case because my monitor does not have two DVIs. You could do VGA. This could be VGA or DVI. Okay. And this is coming out of the integrated. Um, DVI or VGA going into the monitor. And then I used HDMI mini to HDMI into my monitor. Okay, this is very important. Quick Sync will not work if you don't have this set up like this. Again, this could be DVI or VGA. This could be DVI, VGA, or HDMI, um, just depending. Okay, so that's the setup for that. So we've got the software out of the way. We've got NVIDIA drivers installed. We've got um, Intel drivers installed, and we've got the hardware set up ready to go. So now how do we use it? So using... Um, right click screen resolution will bring up this screen okay and this shows you it um, when I first had it installed there was a first monitor and there was a second monitor and I could drag these windows over to the second monitor um, which was basically telling me that one of the monitors was being driven by the integrated graphics and the other monitor was being driven by the Nvidia GPUs I didn't want that so I disabled the second monitor and basically now what this is telling me is that both the integrated graphics and the um, dedicated graphics card are mirroring the same picture on this monitor. And um, it can be a little confusing to understand. Um, but basically, all you have to do to enable Quick Sync is make sure that the mirror that you're seeing or the image that you're seeing is the one being created from the integrated graphics. Okay, so there's two identical pictures. Okay, there's two identical monitors. They're showing the same exact thing, but one of them is coming from here. The other one is coming from here. Okay, and this one down here is going to be CUDA. Okay, because that's coming off NVIDIA. And then the other image up here is going to be Intel QuickSync. Okay, so how do we switch between the two? Um, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, first off, I just want to say that when you're editing, 
um, in Sony Vegas. Um, you can edit with either CUDA or Intel. Um, you just have to switch between the two um, images and either will be available. So I can show that to you now. Um, you will be pressing the Windows P key. That will bring up this screen right here. So I found out by launching a game, um, I started with PC screen only, I launched up a game and my frames were rocking. And then I went to second screen only, launched the same game and the frames were crap. So that tells me that the PC screen only is going to be my NVIDIA and the second screen only is going to be the integrated graphics off the processor. So to switch between the two, you're going to go to PC screen only. Um, that's going to be your NVIDIA. And then to go second screen only, that's going to be your quick sync. So I'll prove that to you now. So we're on PC screen only, which means we're on NVIDIA. So if we render a video in um, Sony Vegas, it will not render because quick sync is not available. So this is my preset. Quick sync is right here. We're going to force it to render in quick sync and it's going to go, yep, error occurred. Quick sync is not available. Just to show you some time speeds, we'll uh, render this video with CUDA and then we'll render it later with quick sync. Show you how much faster it is. Um, so let us render this out. So this is rendering with CUDA. This is using the uh, NVIDIA GPUs. A little short video. So then now to switch, you're going to have to close Vegas. And if you're in a game, you're going to have to close the game. Okay, so we're now on the second screen. This is the Intel um, integrated graphics screen. Um, again, Windows P, see that we're on second screen only. So now when we fire up Vegas, we should be using Quick Sync. Okay, so we're going to get the same video. We're going to drag it in here. And then we're going to go render. Our template is forcing it to use Quick Sync. And we're going to rename this and then we're going to render it out. Okay, speedy freaking render time. A lot faster um, than the other one. Quick Sync is awesome. Um, I tried to set it up before. It was really difficult to get it working and I just kind of threw it to the curb. Said, you know, it's not worth the hassle. Um, the other day I bought a new monitor, um, kind of updated my gaming rig. I really wanted something that would make my uh, you know, video, video editing a lot faster, and Quick Sync is definitely it. Um, it's the fastest way to render out video. Um, I mean, if you like lower the bit rate, you don't even want to do full HD, you do 720p, it's going to render a 720p 20-minute video in 5 minutes or less. Um, and you'll just have to see that for yourself. It's pretty awesome. Um, so if you have any questions about how to set up Quick Sync, I'd be more than happy to help. Um, answer them. There's not a lot of stuff out there documentation wise. Um, so hopefully this video will help.